Welcome back. Ten on your side investigates why HRT buses don't always make all of their stops. A missed bus trip can lead to a failed class, a lost job, or a penalty fee at your doctor's office. A lot of things. Investigative reporter Chris Horn shows us how a shortage of drivers translates into a shortage of patience for riders. Chris? That's right, Tom. The union says the driver's heavy workload. For many, it's six days a week, up to 14 hours a day, makes them distracted. HRT says it leaves them stressed out, and riders are getting left at the curb. Some buses stop at Florida and high streets in Portsmouth on a recent Thursday morning, but not Deanne Trone's number 47 bus. She waits and waits. She says her bus rides have been going downhill for the past several months. Lesser and lesser good customer service. The bus runs have been canceled. Um, the drivers don't seem, seem to be as concerned. That's one of the biggest, their biggest complaints about transit is, where's my darn bus? HRT's Tom Holden has been crunching the numbers. This is an organization that you know has almost 50,000 boardings daily. From July 2018 to August of this year, HRT completed more than 912,000 trips successfully. It had more than 18,000 missed trips, any portion of inbound or outbound trip that wasn't completed. That's a failure rate of just over 2.5%. The 2% is 2% too high. Mm -hmm. The goal is always zero missed trips. But HRT and the drivers union agree on one major cause, not enough drivers to sit behind the wheel. That led to nearly half of the missed trips. A lot of reasons could be um, the hiring process, um, the extensive criminal background check, um, and a big problem is the pay. Starting HRT drivers make about $14.75 an hour. The union says that's about 20% less than rookie drivers in Richmond. The pay is one thing, but the schedule is another. They come in the door working mandatory overtime, so a lot of the employees that are hired get distracted when they find out they have to work six days a week, up to 14 hours a day because they can't spend time with their family. Does it become a situation where the driver gets distracted from working so much in such a period of time? We don't, we haven't seen evidence of that. Uh, but what we do see evidence of is that as, uh, some of the operators uh, can be under stress. Mm -hmm. They can be under stress when they're asked to work a lot. HRT is reaching out to get more drivers behind the wheel, partnering with Tidewater Community College and Norfolk Works to help them get their commercial driver's license. This summer we graduated our first nine, and so they're, they're now driving for us. Staffing, retention, and pay are all hills to climb, but so is funding. HRT has separate service contracts with each of the six cities it serves. We can only provide the service that we're funded to provide. Meanwhile, Trone has made her complaints known on their customer service line. We hear from them. We, we know that happens. Well, maybe not always. The 47 bus changed its schedule at the last minute, leaving Trone to scramble and change her schedule too. English, customer service, general information, hello. Oh, that happens a lot and hang up on me. Certainly apologize to anybody who missed the trip. We, that's not the situation we want. In the meantime, HRT says it will have a next bus arrival app coming next year. It will enable riders to track the location of the next bus so they won't have to stand there and wait as long. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.